Hey guys, Drew Canoli. I am here with my good friend, Neil Godfrey, author of Money Doesn't Grow on Trees. It's been great having you in this video series. Thank you for coming on today. Thank you. Yeah. Today we're talking about something that has been a part of my life, and it's this conversation that we have in our own mind around scarcity. We're gonna show you some tips, tools, and tactics to break free from that. If your finances are not in order, your emotional level is not where you want it to be. Your health is not where you want it to be. Mindset scarcity. When does it show up and what can we do about it? It's a fear and it really comes from when we were little girls, the good girl syndrome. For girls, if you got good grades and you did the right thing and you were quiet and you were passive and you didn't set the cat on fire, you were loved and revered. It worked. It absolutely worked. We take it into adulthood though that we're always trying to please everybody else. Yeah. The abundance and the security comes from your own self-worth. You are your vision. Yeah. And your audience can do it. Mm -hmm. But you gotta let it go. You gotta give up what you've always done in the comfort zone and get into the growth zone. Yeah, that's number one. Okay. Number two, you actually need to put yourself first and not feel guilty about that. Just yeah. like when you wake up in the morning and go, I'm going to eat right, I'm going to exercise, I'm going to do what's right for me. You need to have the same mindset with money. Yeah. I am going to be able to provide. I'm not asking anyone to sacrifice, but I count too. Just like you empower people to make those choices with their health, I want people to make their choices with their money. So if you're the type of person that saves a lot, what are the pros and the cons to that? Okay, you know what happens and you know the extreme saver personality. That is a fear, it's a phobia. And, and actually, it's harder to get the saver to spend than it is to get the spender to save, which is amazing. Because the spender figures it out right away. Whoa, you mean if I save, I get bigger stuff? Obviously, you don't want either extreme. What you want is a financial personality right in the middle. You kind of know who you are. Are you saver or spender? I'm a spender. When we are in a relationship, for some reason, we always pick somebody who's the opposite. So you know what? The strife begins. And then we get so wed to our own financial personality, we think we're right, and therefore they're wrong. And the friction starts. So you know what? Talk about with your, your partner what your financial personality is. It's not gonna be about the money. It's about the idea of how you're sharing it, how you are, and are you coming authentically to the world? And you can change that financial personality so that you are balanced right in the middle. A joyful saver to spend on the things that you want the way you want. I have affirmations. Me too. That I say about money and they work. Like literally, I say in the shower, money comes in easily and frequently. It's like a tidal wave and I see it in my mind. I feel it in my body. I get goosebumps thinking about it. And sure enough. There it is. Yeah. And absolutely, and I do too. We all need that because if you don't have that intention, you know what? You become a victim to it. Yeah. And then the next day happens and then it's this and it's too late. And I think that's important because when your vision is strong enough, scarcity can't exist. So if you're anchored and rooted in your vision like you are with your life and what you're creating in the world with the 27 books that you've written, there's no time for scarcity. There's no room. Mm -hmm. There's no room in my life to feel that way. There's no room in your life. You just have to start changing that mindset and then go do it. Intention, plan, and action. You can do it. You got it. Thank you so much for coming on, Neil. This has been absolutely incredible. Let us know, big thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you wanna see Neil back on Fit Life TV. This is absolutely incredible. And make sure you get her book, Money Doesn't Grow on Trees. It's absolutely incredible. And I love how simple it is. And it's really time to look in the mirror and take a good look at what you're doing and why it's showing up over and over and over in your life and make a change. I'm Drew Canoli. I'm Neil Godfrey. As always, remember, we're, we're in, in this, this together. together. Yeah.